Hi. I'm glad that you've joined me for this installment in our collection of Sitting Under Trees reading books. It's a little different today. Um, I'm not sitting under a tree so much as sort of on one. This tree fell a few years ago and we're next to a pond where I just saw some wood ducks and a great blue heron just took off. And this poem, which I'm choosing to read, mentions both of those kinds of birds, so I thought it might be appropriate. Um, it seems like a poem kind of afternoon. These series have all been children's books, so this one's a little different. And it's a poem by one of my favorite writers and poets, Mary Oliver. And this is from her book, American Primitive. It's called Morning at Great Pond. I hope you enjoy it. It starts like this, forks of light slicking up out of the east, flying over you and what's left of night. It's black waterfalls, it's craven doubt, dissolves like gravel as the sun appears, trailing clouds of pink and green wool, igniting the fields, turning the ponds to plates of fire. The creatures there are dark flickerings you make out, one by one as the light lifts. Great blue herons, wood ducks shaking their shimmering crests, and knee deep in the purple shallows, a deer drinking. As she turns, the silver water crushes like silk, shaking the sky, and you're healed then from the night. Your heart wants more. You're ready to rise and look, to hurry anywhere, to believe in everything. seems good for these days. We can believe in everything. I hope you're well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope to see you next time. Be well.